right, so today we are doing an overview on the install of the FIGS hood prop rods for the IS300. Now, overall, I have to say so far, this is actually a pretty good product. I'm actually really happy with this. Um, I just installed it about 10 minutes ago, and I decided to go ahead and do an overview on the install. It's actually really not complicated at all. It maybe took me, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes max, uh, and it really uh, works quite well. So let's go ahead and start on how to install these. So first of all, you're going to come over here, and this is really your relay box here. It's going to be this portion right here. It's going to be pressing against the upper uh, strut mount, and you're going to have a 10 mil bolt in that. You're going to go ahead and take that out. You're going to set that 10 mil off to the side. Um, you're not going to be using that like just going, you know, a drawer or something. Uh, we're not going to be using that. Uh, next thing we are going to do for over here, so you're going to pull up on the uh, relay box here just a little, and then you're going to get this little bracket here. I believe this is an optional piece here. Uh, mine came with it. This little bracket here. You're going to get that out of the package. You're also going to get this, um, what's it called, Allen head key uh, bolt here, along with a normal washer and a lock washer. And then you're also going to get the bracket right here. Um, I believe these brackets are the same left to right. Uh, I could be wrong about that though. Just make sure that the little ball end here is pointing towards the outside of the vehicle on uh, both uh, the driver's side and the passenger side. Uh, you're going to go in and mount that up here into that stock hole where that 10 mil did go. You're going to put that bolt in. Then you're going to get this push pin out of the package and you're going to go ahead and put that into here through the relay box and into that little uh, silver bracket right there. Next, what you're gonna do, you could either do the driver side or passenger side first. Uh, for this step, you're gonna go up here and you're gonna go ahead and loosen up the, uh, I did the top uh, 12 mil bolt first, or you could do the bottom here. And you don't want to go ahead and loosen both at the same time or else your hood is gonna just basically like kind of fall off and uh, Obviously, that ain't preferable. It's also going to probably throw off your body lines if that happens. Uh, so just loosen up this one here, this top one. Get the bracket with the ball end here facing out. It will look like that. It is different uh, driver's side and passenger side, so make sure you get the right one here. Uh, you're going to loosen that 12 mil right there. You're going to go ahead and put the bracket on, put the 12 mil through, tighten it up a little bit, kind of move it off to the side here. And then you're going to loosen up this one here, this bottom 12 mil, and slide it on, tighten it up, and then boom, this will be on. Uh, you also have to go ahead and loosen up this little uh, bit of bracketry, this clip for the, uh, this is the uh, washer uh, sprayer that goes on the hood here. Just a rubber line, and you have a little clip uh, back here. It shows it in the uh, FIGS um, install guide. In case you're wondering, that's where it goes right there. You have to unclip that and just kind of move it off to the side a little bit. Um, moving on to the passenger side here. It's pretty much the same as the driver's side, but you don't have to deal with the relay box. You just got this bracket here, the um, uh, what's called Allen head bolt, screw, whatever, and then a washer and a locking washer. And then you'll go up here and it's the same on the passenger side as it is on the driver's side in terms of the install here. As you can see, that is what it looks like. However, you don't have to mess with that a washer uh, line over here. It just doesn't have it over here. Uh, it only has it on the driver's side, so you don't have to unclip that. Uh, next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get the uh, struts here, and you're gonna have it so then the part that goes into the strut here is facing down, just like this. I'll show you guys, that's what it's supposed to look like here. And you're simply going to just push it onto the ball end up here and onto the ball end here, and then same thing on the driver's side, and it's done, it's that simple. All right, let's go ahead and close the hood here. There you go. Uh, now, when you first do this, you want to very, very slowly lower the hood. Um, I have heard a couple of horror stories of it bending, you know, the fender or the hood or something. That mainly happens on like eBay. Uh, 
uh, kit uh, for the uh, hood here. Um, however, the, the figs is obviously much more expensive and they've put a lot more time into it than like eBay ones. But I think it's happened on a couple of people with the figs too. Uh, it'll like ding their fender or something. That didn't happen in my case. Um, in fact, it all worked perfectly. I didn't have to do any adjustments or anything. Um, the body lines here are still the exact same. So it did throw off my body lines, thankfully. They are identical uh, left to right. And um, no gap issues at all. It's working just fine so far. Uh, obviously no bends in the hood or anything. If you do this, um, you know, carefully and you look into it and stuff and you just adjust everything correctly, you know, don't have that bracket like off uh, side to side or something, uh, then it should not bend your hood or anything. So there it is. Let's go ahead and open the hood here. Now I do want to point out whenever you first pop the hood, it's going to make a decent amount more noise because there is uh, more pressure kind of pushing up because of the uh, struts there. So keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and open it here. And there you go. All right, let's go ahead and open the hood here. And there you go, holds it up just fine, lifts it up a little too. About when you get it halfway, it'll pretty much raise itself. Uh, so yeah, there it is, it's pretty cool. Uh, so far, I definitely do like it. Looks a lot better than having this stupid uh, bar here, pretty much just holding the hood up. Uh, this works definitely a lot better and you don't have to mess around with this thing. And then these clips here are known for breaking. So if you do this enough times, that's gonna break. Mine was actually already broken, but I replaced it. Uh, with the new parts so um number one there's not really much to break here you can't break this now and uh overall you know it just works better uh so yeah there it is a quick little install video on how to put in the figs uh hood strut rods whatever you want to call them so uh, yeah i guess that's really it for this video hope everybody enjoyed and don't forget to like and subscribe i'll see you all next time goodbye